So before I start this video, guys, I just want to make a couple things clear here. Well, it's basically just one, guys. But basically, guys, take this entire video with a grain of salt. We never know if any of these rumors are actually true, guys, or if any of these will end up happening. So honestly, what I'm about to tell you in this video may never happen, maybe all a lie. You never know, guys. So like I said, just, just you know, try your best to retain from being too ecstatic about it. Though it looks real, sometimes the realest rumors are lies, guys. This does look really real, though, and I'm going to put my faith in it. But anyways, guys, now let's get into the video. Hello everybody, what is going on? It's Jimmy here back with another video, and today, my friends, we have some stuff that happened last night, guys, for PlayStation 5. So basically, the UI is apparently leaked. So guys, last night, someone on Reddit, a Reddit user, guys, his name is WSB Bernie Madoff, 21 hours ago, said that in an exchange for currency, actually a high amount here, it seems, not too high, but you know, just right around what you'd expect him to be asking here. I think it's 100 pounds, I'm not 100% sure what that um, currency is, guys, but around $100, if it is pounds, it would be close to US dollars, guys, but, you know, so a little chunk of change, nothing serious here, but basically, people paid this guy, and in return for all that, he said that he'll upload PlayStation 5's footage, no one knows if this is stolen, no one knows if it's real, I'm bringing you this article from PushSquare.com, guys, basically, he showed off what you'd expect him to show off. I will put screenshots on here, guys, but you cannot read any of it unless you're reading this language here, which appears to be, let me look at this here, it appears to be Russian, guys. I'm not 100% sure what the language is here, but basically he also went off to show off numerous pieces of hardware. No one knows exactly what these things are, guys, but basically he showed off the inside of the PlayStation 5 plate, which obviously does look completely real, though it could have been 3D printed by somebody, but he's showing basically how you, um, you know, take apart your PlayStation 5, guys. No one knows 100% if it's real, but basically Astro's Playroom takes around 2.4 gigabytes of space, and the UI takes hundreds of gigabytes, guys. Basically, when you're done, you will be left with 664 gigabytes of usable space on your console. Now, if this is real, and assuming that it is real, which I think we can do, guys, because he showed a lot of stuff here that looks real. It looks like a next-generation console. I feel like it's a lot to be able to fake. It does not look like it's running on some type of modified PlayStation 4 UI. It looks like it's pretty much its own thing, guys, and that's what I think this is. But under the same token, you never know. This could just be all a lie, guys, and we need to realize that sooner than later. But basically, guys, at the end of the day, this looks completely real, and I'm going to put my faith in it. I'm going to say that I think that it is real. But what this means for us is, guys, is that only 664 gigabytes of usable space is going to be available upon release day. So you're going to need to buy more SSDs, guys, or something, because obviously that's not going to be enough space for us. And obviously this isn't terrible. I mean, Demon Souls is going to take 60-some gigabytes. Uh, Spider-Man Miles Morales with the other one was over 100, guys. Yeah, guys, so Spider-Man with the Spider-Man Miles Morales, the 2018 Spider-Man plus the other one, is going to be over 100 gigabytes. So because of all these things, guys, we have to think to ourselves, how many next generation games are we going to be able to fit on the system? It doesn't matter whether we're going digital or physical, some type of installation has to occur. And usually I would be sad about this, but considering Nintendo gives us 32 gigabytes on our Switches, and I have a 500 gigabyte card, I have a half a terabyte in my one Switch, and 256 in the other, and I've been just fine, but obviously Switch games are lower in gigabyte count. I mean, Breath of the Wild is like less than 15 gigabytes, that entire game. Nintendo's a god at compressing. But basically, what you need to take from this is, you're not going to be able to store a ton of games on your PlayStation 5, and if you're looking for just straight storage, maybe you should go the Xbox route. But when it comes to the screenshots shown on the actual system of the console, I do believe these, and I want to say in this video that I'm going to go out on a limb here and say that I think that this leaker slash person who's getting this information, wherever the source of this is, I'm going to say that they are legit guys, and that you should believe these rumors. Anyways, guys, if you want to stay up to date on PlayStation news, leaks, rumors, the whole nine yards, and Nintendo and Xbox, there'll be links in the description to subscribe, and don't forget to enter our giveaway for Hyrule Warriors Age of Calamity, guys. There'll be a link in the description for that as well, and as always, Jimmy out of here. Thank you guys so much for the support. I thank you guys all for watching the video as always, and I hope to see you guys in the following days. I will be coming out with a video later today. Thank you again.